Hey guys, it's Miss Rainey. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go over a couple of the homework problems that you had from last night on the neutralization problems homework. And so, the first thing I need you to do is make sure you finished that paper before you watch the rest of this video. I want you to try these problems on your own before you watch my answers. So if you haven't, pause the video now. Alrighty, all ready to get started? So, number one on the worksheet says, how many milliliters of a 0 0.2 m KOH solution will exactly neutralize 15 milliliters of a 0 0.4 m HCl solution? So if you remember, our formula is MAVA equals MBVB. What that stands for is the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. So we need to look back at that problem and see what information we have. How many milliliters of a 0.2 m KOH? So KOH, that's a base. So this is the molarity of the base. And it's asking for how many milliliters of that. So this is the volume of the base. And then we'll exactly neutralize 15 milliliters of a 0.4 mHCl. HCl, that's an acid, so this is molarity of the acid. 15 milliliters is the volume of the acid. From there, I just plug it in and solve. Ma, 0.40 m, Va, 15 milliliters, equals Mb, 0.20 m, Vb, x milliliters, because that's what I'm solving for. So, try to solve for x. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.20 m, 0 0.20 m, and that will cancel on the right, and on the left, the molarities will cancel, so that my unit's going to be milliliters. 0.4 times 15 divided by 0.2, x is equal to 30, and the units are milliliters. So there's number one. Okay, so we're going to try number two next. If you haven't tried number two on your own, pause your video now. I want you to work number two by yourself. And then we're going to see if you've got the same answer that I do. So pause your video now. Okay, so I hope you finish number two. Let's do it together. Calculate the molarity of an HNO3, that's my acid, solution. If it takes 100 milliliters of the acid, so that's going to be my volume of acid, to neutralize 65 milliliters of a 2.5 m NaOH, that's my molarity of base, and the 65 milliliters is my volume of base solution. So we're going to use the same formula as we did last time, MAVA equals MBVB. And then plug in what we have. We're looking for the molarity of the acid. So my MA is my X molar. VA is 100 milliliters. Oops, let's see. I can erase that right there. Equals MB, that's 2.5 M times VB, 65 milliliters. Then, solving for x, I'm going to divide both sides by 100 milliliters. So that this will cancel on the right, and the milliliters will cancel on the left. So that we end up with x is equal to, and I'm going to rewrite it over here to make it more clear, 2.5m times 65 milliliters divided by 100 milliliters is equal to 1.625 more. And that's it. That's number two. Okay, so I skipped number three. Hopefully you were able to do number three on your own based on what we did already on number one and number two. But now I've come to number four. This one's a little bit different than the other, so I wanted to make sure you see one of these. A solution contains 0 0.30 moles of OH-. And what's weird about this problem is it says moles of OH-, not molarity of OH-. So how many milliliters and of a 0.5 mHCl solution will be required to neutralize this amount of base? 
So all of these problems are all about neutralization. And at neutralization, the moles acid are equal to the moles base. And that's actually why MAVA equals MBVB works, because MAVA, the molarity times the volume, is essentially the moles. And so then MABVB, the molarity times the volume of the base, is essentially equal to the moles of base. So then, since this time we're given the moles of the base, and it's asking for volume and molarity of an acid, then we can actually set my equation up to look like this. The molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid will equal the moles of base. So, molarity of acid, 0 0.50 m, volume of acid, x milliliters, moles of base, 0 0.030 moles, and then from there I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.5 0 m and then cancel on one side and so I have 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.5 which is equal to 0 0.06 but then look at the units we have moles well I did that wrong let's try again moles divided by molarity. But what's molarity anyway? Molarity is just moles per liter. So really, this is moles divided by moles per liter. So the moles will cancel and we'll be left with liters. 0 0.06 liters. Well, here's the problem with that. It says how many milliliters will be required, not how many liters will be required. So once I've got my 0 0.06 liters, let me erase this right here to give me some space. 0 0.06 liters. One liter has a thousand milliliters in it. So this is equal to 60 milliliters. And there we go. All right, so number five and six and seven are pretty much the same as one and two and three. So I'm assuming that you guys could do those on your own. But let's look now at number eight. And A and B, again, I assume you can do on your own, but let's work out C and D. So this is the last two problems on the paper. If you haven't done, finish the whole paper, pause your video now, work these problems on your own first, and then come back to me. Okay, I'm assuming since you're here that you're ready to go. So these are neutralization reactions. This is what happens when you mix an acid and a base together. So H2SO4 is an acid and NaOH is a base. But this is really just a double replacement reaction. So the pluses will switch places, which means the hydrogen will sit with the hydroxide and the sodium will sit with the sulfate. So on the other side of the arrow, the sodium will sit with the sulfate and the hydrogen will sit with the hydroxide. And then remember what the little subscripts are for. This four is the identity of sulfate, so it sticks with the SO4. But this 2 is only from the charges, because sulfate's a minus 2 charge and hydrogen's a plus 1. So the only reason the 2 is here is to balance charges. The 4 is there because that's what sulfate is. Which means the 4 gets carried on, but the 2 does not. So if we want to balance, then we're going to have to balance without that 2, but with the 4, but without the 2. So... Balancing that equation, I will need to look at charges. Sulfate is still a negative 2 charge. Sodium's a positive 1, which means I need Na2SO4. And then, once I've got two Na's, then I'll need two Na's. And once I've got two OH's, then I'm going to need two OH's, which gives me two hydrogens to balance out with my two hydrogens, so now we're good. All right, let's look at letter D, H3O plus plus OH minus. Again, this is just an acid and a base, but this is different from the other ones. It's not a double replacement reaction. This is like what a typical acid would do in water is it would donate a hydrogen or donate a proton. So one of the hydrogens, not all three of them, is going to get donated to that hydroxide. 
So if you take an H out of the H3O+, plus, you'll be left with H2O. And if you add an H to an OH-, minus, you'll be left with H2O. So essentially what you have here, H3O+, plus, plus OH-, minus, makes 2H2O. All right, that's your neutralization problems. Hopefully you were able to do all the rest of them on your own. And if not, let me know. Okay, you guys have a great day.